Welcome back to King News. I'm Charlotte. And I'm Howie. We're going to start off today's broadcast with a reminder that if you've been slacking on your Zello work, it's about time to step on it. The deadline to com- complete your Zello work is Friday, January 29th, which is two weeks from today. So keep that in mind. Culinary arts students aren't letting the pandemic dampen their enthusiasm. They're sharpening their knife skills for a competition to show off their cooking skills. Stay tuned for more information about how to cheer them on. Culinary arts seems like so much fun, which is definitely something to consider as we're nearing the end of the first semester and registration opens for next year's classes. Visit the website on your screen to get more information to help you plan your courses for the 2021 to 2022 school year. If you have any questions, you can check out the live registration Q&A session next Wednesday, January 20th. You can also reach out to your counselor. If you didn't buy a yearbook the first time they went on sale, you're in luck. Yearbooks are available for sale from Sunday, January 17th through Sunday, February 7th. Each yearbook costs $65 and you can buy them online through the Lake Washington School District payment portal. Please make sure you're buying an LWHS yearbook. It should say LWHS in the site column. And in case you were wondering, if you bought an ASB card, a yearbook is not included in the cost. Since school started, we focused on teachers, counselors, and school staff working to make remote learning smooth and meaningful. We've learned so much and are so proud of this Kang News correspondent, Jessica's work. In this latest installment, Jessica sits down with Ms. Conroy. How have you been flexible and accessible to students with coursework and deadlines? Yeah, so obviously um, remote learning has been an adjustment for all, for students, teachers, all staff, um, et cetera, as well as parent guardians. And so being flexible has been um, my number one, one of my number one um, priorities for all students, just because, I mean, we're living through some crazy times right now. And so um, specifically what we do with U.S. history, as far as the content team, is we allow late work to be turned in up until the unit assessment with no penalty. Therefore, if you have a crazy week, um, one week, and you're not able to complete homework, you're able to have a little extra time to complete it and then turn it in with, again, no penalty. And I really try to um, encourage all students to just realize that your teachers are humans and we're here for you. And I mean, Um, Like I said, we're understanding that this is different and you're adjusting. And so, yeah, we're very flexible. I know that motivation has been an issue for a lot of students this year during COVID. What are some suggestions that you have for students who may be struggling with time management? Yeah, so motivation, yeah, is tough right now to, I mean, in terms of finding motivation. Um, for everyone and not even students, teachers. I hear I have friends um, who are working in other industries and whatnot, and it is tough right now. And so one thing as far as students goes um, to find some motivation would be just to keep your goals in mind, because I think it's really easy to kind of wash out this year because we are remote. But if you're a ninth grader, 10th, 11th, 12th grader, what what are your goals um, in the next year, whether that be are you moving into uh, your senior year or are you moving into the real world if you're a 12th grader? Um, And so maybe writing down those goals and where you want to be in the next month, where you want to be at semester by the end of the year, I think is super helpful. I and I have my to-do list right next to me for staying organized. I every day or every week, um, depending on how large my to-do list is, I give myself a to-do list. I make it beautiful because I like to color code and everything. Um, So I really encourage people just to get organized as far as to-do list every week. Remote learning, again, is different because there's so many different platforms you're maybe using and different classes. You have seven classes. So writing everything down is super helpful. If you have a phone, you can put in your reminders. Um, Sticky notes is key as well. But um, and I also want to recognize, too, that um, there is a light at the end of the tunnel here. I mean, you guys are adjusting now. We're in December. How crazy is that? And so you are making it. So continue, like give yourself a pat on the back, give yourself some grace and just realize you are doing amazing and to give yourself some self-love, you know, your your positivity is key. Um, I, again, Jessica, you probably know, finding the joy in every day is, which I kind of started with our classes at the beginning of the year, finding the joy in every day is really key, I think. And so again, during these times, it's 
hard to find motiv motivation and positivity. And so trying to do little things to help that with your goals, with day to day um, things that bring you joy and whatnot. And just staying organized, I think, is really helpful. I know when I feel like I'm not organized, that's when I start to stress out a little bit. That's when I love my to do list. So get your to do list going, team. I super recommend it. And um, also take breaks because sitting at a computer all day, you're going to lose motivation. I am currently grading DBQs, which are awesome. Um, I love reading essays. I really do, as much as many of my, the teachers are probably like, oh, sure, Ms. Conroy. Um, but I do like to read your guys' responses, but I take breaks because I don't want to get super, I don't want to get tired, I, wanna, I don't want to get burnt out. And so taking breaks is key. Um, and finding something you like to do during those breaks is, I think, really important as well. Yeah, I think I think that was great advice to all the students that are listening and watching right now. For sure, take breaks, um, keep your priorities straight, try to stay organized during this time. I know it's very difficult, but there, like Miss Conroy said, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Miss Conroy, for sitting down with me and answering these questions. This has been our perspectives on remote learning. I am Jessica, and thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much, Ms. Conroy, and a special thanks to Jessica for this insightful series. Finally, ASL club members are taking a creative approach to their studies, and they want your help with a special project. Here to tell us more about it is our Kang News student leader and ASL club president, Rachel. Hi, my name's Rachel. And I'm the president of ASL club. For the past three months, we have been learning how to sign the song The Climb by Miley Cyrus. And now we're almost ready to share this interpretation with you guys. But first, we need your help. If you have a positive message that you want to share with the school, Take a picture of yourself holding up a sign with a positive message written on it, just like that. Here's a few examples. So take a picture like that and send it in to me. On Friday, January 22nd, all photos are due. My email address is s dash R-E-A-S-T at L-W-S-D dot org. Right now, life is kind of hard, so let's all come together and spread some positivity. Thanks for watching. See you later. Love you. Bye. I'm definitely going to make a sign for the music video. How about you, Charlotte? I'm in. I just need to find the right words to express my feelings. That does it for Kang News this week. Have a great weekend, everyone. Be well, take care, and we'll see you again next week.